Hi everyone and welcome back to Artful. In this week's tutorial we're going to be using our watercolours and adding to our menagerie of animal tutorials as I'll be showing you how I painted and drew a polar bear. So dust off your heart pans, get out your brushes and I'll talk you through it. To begin with I'm sketching out the basic construction layers of our polar bear in a light pencil. Now the back end of the polar bear is almost like a pear shape and the front end is almost like a whistle. I'm being quite rough with my line work when I'm drawing the outline of the animal because I think it gives it the nice texture of fur rather than if you drew a heavy line it makes it just a bit more illustrative and a bit more real. When sketching the shape of the polar bear's legs it's always important to remember just how powerful and ferocious these animals are you know they're not Christmas card cutesy and their paws are pretty much the size of a human head. I'd recommend trying to draw along to the tutorial and sketching out your own polar bear but if you just want to practice your watercolour wash I will leave a template for the polar bear in the description. From the angle that we're drawing it from the polar bear doesn't seem to have any kind of discernible neck and its features are quite boxy. So you're just filling in the nose, its mouth, its ears and its eyes. I'm using a vertical hatching for the inner leg of the polar bear so when I paint over it it will convey the sense of a shadow. You can use an eraser to rub out the areas of the construction that you don't want to shine through in your paint, i.e. the circular aspects that I use for the back and front legs. I'm using my pencil to add some light fur texture on the inside of the polar bear and adding some rough shading in the background just to give the sense of the shadow of the snow mounds. Mixing together some nice deep greens and deep blues we can create a nice shade that we want to use for the fur of the polar bear. I'm also mixing together a darker yellow which we will use for the belly and the inner legs of the polar bear and also to give it just a bit more sense of colour. Now I've erased the necessary construction layers in the polar bear that I don't want shining through the paint I can now start to apply a wash. Using a medium to large paintbrush you can now start to apply the water for the wash for the inside of the polar bear. First I'm adding the yellow into the inside of the polar bear and you'll start to see how that paint disperses into the water layer that we put down. And next I'm using that nice light blue green and I'm using that for the rest of the body. You don't want to use too much paint because a polar bear you know it isn't blue but you're just trying to give that illusion of the different heat and how cool the body of the polar bear would be. Now you can apply the same principles of a wash to the background. Again the polar bear isn't just floating around in space and snow catches the light a bit more interesting when you're painting it you don't want to just paint white. The way snow crystallizes means when sunlight hits it, it does appear when you're painting it as these nice pastel light colours. So whilst it may seem a bit wild to paint snow a kind of light pink, it will make sense in terms of the overall composition. Adding that nice vibrant blue on top of the purple wash that we put down whilst it's still wet helps to sell the idea of shadow in the background. Sometimes when you add water on top of a pencil line you do wash out the thickness of the line so if you do want to just sharpen it or make it a bit more dark then you can add more pencil once the paint's dry. And there we are, it's finished. A nice simple watercolour wash of a polar bear. This took me around 25 minutes in total to create the whole image but it probably will be quicker if you print out your own template. It's just an exercise in appreciating the subtlety and depth that a light watercolour wash can give your work. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial showing how to apply a basic watercolour wash. Now I absolutely love to paint or draw animals but if you don't then leave me suggestions in the comments down below and it may even become a future artful tutorial. If you did follow along to these steps though let me know, tag me on Instagram at artfulbox. I absolutely love to see everyone have a go at my tutorials, it really brings a smile to my grumpy miserable resting face. <laughs> like and subscribe to our YouTube to see some of our earlier videos and why not treat yourself and visit artful.co.uk. 
You are not going to want to miss next week's though. We're using our brand new supplies from our brand new Artful Box and I couldn't be more excited. So hopefully see you then. Thank you very much again for watching. Thank you.